Our project house is at the point where we are going to be applying the plasterboard to the internal walls of the house. So in this video we're going to cover all the different layers that go into the kit to the finished level of the plasterboard. That will include the insulation and on the exterior we'll talk about the treatment that goes there. So you'll get a complete view of what makes up the kit walls for this house. For context, we are in the build it phase and we are at the frame stage. The timber frame kit is constructed out of panels. Um, these are fairly wide panels and then they have infilled timber. The timber that is used is, um, is treated timber. Uh, it's 140 wide across. Um, would sit there to make the panel. Um, this is, you can see it in place here. And then it is, it has OSB board, which is applied to it. Now this is, this is typically the e e OSB board. As you can see, it's quite, quite thin, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's really a reconstructed uh, type of board that's glued with all different particles. And that forms the outside structure uh, of the kit. On the inside, then we would add insulation. Now, when I constructed the first house that I built back in 2006, um, the the actual width of of this board um, was only required to be 90 wide. Um, I opted to go for 140, which was considered in those times to be a way over the spec uh, over uh, spec. Um, and not required by building control or the building uh, standards. Um, however, now 140 is standard, um, and the insulation that was applied in those days was uh, a, a rock wool insulation. Now, that's no longer any use, and we have to use uh, here, which is um, basically, it's, it's, it's almost like a polystyrene. It's, it's much he denser than that, very, very heavy. Um, you can actually stand on this uh, and it won't, it won't depress at all. It's very, very heavy duty. And that is then insulated, that is then placed into the cooms there in between that. Um, so I'll just show you some where that's been done um, already just over here. As you can see, this uh, then uh, is laid between the joists, giving um, good insulation. There will be also further insulation put up here in this uh, void area here. This is part of the, the roof structure, so we're on the first floor. Um, but we're not finished yet with this. Uh, there is further work to be done on that, and I'll show you how we've made a start on that just over here. Um, incidentally, you're going to hear you're hearing a lot of hammering. This is a live site. There's a lot of work going on, so uh, inevitably that's what it is. So hopefully you can hear me above, above that noise. In fact, currently the slaters are <laughs> the slaters are putting on the roof. Um, the roof tiles, so that will be a, a feature of a, a future video. So over this we then lay um, a foil, uh, this is a silver back foil, this will then go over there um, and then we start to put granders down here uh, to create the service void and if we just have a look over here we see that some of this has already been done. So this room is, uh, is completed virtually uh, for this stage and ready for the first fix of the plumbing and the electrician uh, to come in and use these service voids. The only thing that's still to be done in these service voids is that there is some tape to be applied to here. Um, that would have normally been applied before we actually put um, up uh, the, the wood here. Uh, but the reason is uh, we, we're in a difficult period and sometimes it's difficult to get supply, so we're waiting for that. Uh, but it's not going to hold things up, it just makes it a little bit more time consuming to apply it because uh, clearly it would be much easier to have applied it before we actually put in the, the, the structure here. Um, on top of that, we'll then go once the uh, services are in, in terms of plumbing, in terms of the electrician, once that's in, then we'll apply plasterboard to that. The final part of the installation is to lay uh, insulation in the loft area 
uh, we re lay 100 millimeters of rock wool uh, between the trusses and then we lay 200 millimeters of rock wool across the trusses so it's it's almost like a crisscross um, situation uh, also in, in some of these pictures you will see uh, the branders now these are for fixing the plasterboard they're not actual structural uh, components of the timber frame kit or indeed the trusses and then uh, finally we have some pictures of uh, the insulation as it was being installed in the lower part of the kit uh, and so obviously you'll see it is less finished uh, than in the later pictures um, and from then on we're now going to go to the outside of the house and talk about the treatments there of the outside of the kit So on the outside uh, we need to then protect the walling of uh, the timber frame panels and this is done by uh, applying this black sheeting. So we have this black vapour barrier that is attached to the outside of the kit wall. Um, this is then fixed with um, black strapping, it doesn't need to be black strapping, but strapping at uh, regular intervals and it's stapled in place. Uh, then on top of that we will then create the fire stops. So unfortunately the next piece of uh, video that I was going to show you, the video clip got corrupted and as you will see from behind me uh, we've moved on with the building process and the block work has now completed so I can't actually show you that in situ but essentially uh, what was involved there is a piece of wood like this um, it gets put vertically um, at certain points along the timber frame kit and it creates what's called a fire stop. Now it essentially just slows down the rate of fire if there was a fire. Um, and so this is put at various intervals around the kit um, to prevent that. So we've come to the end of this video. Um, if you've liked it, um, uh, please, and this is the first time you've been to the channel, have a look around. There are many other videos at the time of recording this one. I think we're up to about 30 different videos. Uh, there's lots of more videos to come. So if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and remember to hit that notification bell so that you're notified of when new videos come out. Um, if you've got any comments, questions, observations, put them in the comment section below and I promise to answer every comment that is posted there. And uh, if you know of anybody else who might be interested in this channel, please uh, like and share the channel with them. Until the next video, please enjoy some of the other videos on this channel.